Rotate your phone. You cannot rotate it. Go. Okay. Go. We on. We on now. Yeah. <laughs> hey everybody, it's good to be here tonight, here on a Wednesday night, and thank God for you that's tuning in and joining in. Thank God for the ones that's here at the house to bring glory and honor to the Lord. We thank God for you, and we just want to open up this with a word of prayer. Father, we thank you tonight, God. God, Lord, for our health. <coughs> God, we thank you for our strength, God. We thank you tonight, God, that we're here, God, to bring glory and honor to you. God, Lord, we're here, Father, Lord, to bless your name. God, Lord, we're here to lift up you, Father, Lord. Because you said in your word, if I be lifted up, I would draw all men unto me. I thank you right now, God, for the people that is tuning in, for the people that is here. God, I pray that their hearts will be receptive, their ears will be open to hear what the Spirit says to the church. God, we thank you in this time right now, God, in this time that we have uh, on Facebook, God, Lord, I thank you for that, God. I thank you, and God, have your way in this service, God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. First of all, I want to thank God for all the pastors and that is that is taking time uh, uh, to, to share the Word of God over Facebook, and I thank God for that. I thank God for the views that we had last Sunday when we come to this, and it was our first time doing this, and I just give God praise for it, that it's a new door that's open, and I thank God that as, as God has opened a new door, we begin to take care of what God has opened. So this is a God thing. This ain't a man thing. This is a God thing. And, and as I was praying this week and seeking, I know we was going to come back live to, tonight. And I said, God, I just, want to be, I just want to be a voice as John was in the wilderness. Uh, prepare you the way of the Lord and make straight his paths. I want people to know that there is a God that loves you. There is a God that cares for you. And there is a God that is taking care of you in the midst of an adversity. And I thank God for that. And as I was and I was praying and I was seeking, God began to speak to my spirit. First of all, he said, let him that hath an ear, let him hear what the spirit is saying to the church. Amen. There's so much people that is focused on, on everything else other than what the spirit is saying. <laughs> and I, I want to say this. That whatever's going on in this world, the, 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 the adversity that we're going through right now, it don't change who God is. And, and God, God's not going to change because of what's going on. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He will always be the same. God's God. Yeah. Amen. The thing is, we shouldn't let this change who we are. And we should get our focus off of the worst of things and put our focus on who God is. And don't lose focus of that. Don't lose focus who God is. And because if you lose focus of who God is, you lose focus of who you are. Amen. And I want you to understand, as I was praying about this, God said, let him that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. And I thank you for everybody that is that is coming on. I see a lot of folks coming on now and, and comments. I give God praise for you. And I pray, God, I pray that this will be an inspiration to you, that this will build up your hope, that this will build up your faith. Because you are a God of in, uh, you are a people of increase. Because God's a God of increase, you are the people of increase. You are people of great faith. You are an overcomer, and, and by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of your testimony. Amen. And as I was thinking about this, God said, let, and I'm going to say it again, let him that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Yes, Lord. Amen. Not the building. You, Amen. Lord. To you. To you. Uh, right now you say, God's speaking to me. God's speaking to me. And God told me, he said, when you go on live Wednesday, he said, I want you to tell my people to alter their thinking. I, I want my people to alter their thinking. I want them to think in a realm Amen. That this this virus or anything that's that's come against God's people cannot enter into. It's an atmosphere that God wants us to be. We have the mind of Christ. The Bible says we have the mind of Christ. 
And if we have the mind of Christ, we can think the thoughts that God thinks. And we can, we, we can pray the way God prays. We can speak the way God prays. Amen. And we, we, can turn, we can turn a bad situation. God has given us that power that we can turn a bad situation into a good thing. We can take what, what, what's meant for harm and turn that thing around good. But in the book of 1 Peter, I want to share this with you. In the book of 1 Peter, chapter 4, and if you have your Bibles, I want you to go with me because we're going to give you words of encouragement tonight. We're going to give you words that's going to build your faith, that's going to build your strength. Because that's what we're here for. We're here to build one another up. Amen. And so we're not here to tear each other down. We're here to build each other up. So that's why I thank God for the pastors of the churches that's going on live, that's, that's streaming their, their services. I thank God for you. Amen. And I give God praise for you. In the book of First Peter, chapter 4, and verses 12 and 13, the Bible says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial." Which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. But watch this. <coughs> he said, but rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. Somebody say, I got joy. Somebody say, I got joy. <coughs> Unspeakable, full of glory. Amen. We've got to understand that, that, that one thing the enemy wants to do in this time is to sway people's minds mm -hmm. away from the truth and the purpose yes. of God's yes. word. Amen. Yes. Having one to think or focus on, uh, on the outside of the boundaries of God's word. That's right. In other words, the enemy wants you to focus on the bad situation. Yes. When, when God's focus is not on a bad situation, but God's focus is what he wants his people to become like. And, and he said, I want you to focus on me because I'm going to show you how great I am in the midst of an adversity, in the midst of an adversary. I'm going to show you that this thing ain't going to change me, but I am the same God yesterday, today, and forever. I don't change. And God said, I want you to set your focus on things above and not on things in this earth. God is saying, I, I, want, to, I want to change your way of thinking. I, I, I want you to alter your thinking. Amen. And as one thinks in this realm, on the outside of the boundaries of God, if you're thinking in this realm, you become what you think or focus on. You, you become that thought. If you're focusing on the bad things, amen, you, you, the things that's going to uh, focus out of you and come forth out of you is bad things. If you focus on good things, amen, good things is going to come uh, to you. It all depends on who, I, I heard the Spirit say this, who's in your house? Who is in your house? What are you listening to in your house? Because, uh, listen, everybody else may forsake you. Everybody else may turn their back on you. But if Jesus is in your house, somebody need to shout hallelujah. If Jesus is in your house, you, you've you got the power to rise up and give God glory. Amen. Don't let anything keep you down. Don't let anything hinder you. Don't let anything come in your house. Amen. That's disrupting the flow of the Spirit. Amen. Because this is what the enemy wants to do. He wants to interrupt the flow of the Spirit that calls you to become the disruption. But you're not a disruption. You are the cause that's going to cause this thing, amen, to vanish, to disappear. Because God told me to tell you, if you hadn't done it yet, do it again. Go uh, anoint the doorposts of your house. Anoint because the Bible says, when I see the blood. Yeah. I'm going to pass over. Somebody say, I'm, gonna, I'm one of those that death's going to pass over. I'm one of those that sickness is going to pass over. Because it, it will not come nigh to my dwelling. Anoint your house. Anoint yourself. Anoint the soul. Anoint your thoughts right now in the name of Jesus. Don't become. Don't become what the enemy is throwing into your face. Don't focus on that. Focus on the good things. God is still working good things in the midst of a bad situation. God is still God. He won't never change. The Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, <coughs> so is he. I, 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 I want to bring this out in, in a way. It's not time to panic. 
This is not a time to be in a panic. Listen, God's children, it's not time for you to panic. <clears throat> it's not time for your faith to be compromised. It's not time, amen, for you to worry. It's not time for you to sit and let four walls crumble down on you. It's time to be God's people, God's chosen generation. It's time to, it's time to bring forth the praises of Him that called you out of darkness into His marvelous light. It's time for God's people to show praises in the midst of a bad situation. It's not time to panic. It's not time to worry. It's not time to lose your focus. Amen. It's, it's not time to doubt. It's not time to sway away from the truth of God's word. It's not time to lose your confidence. <clears throat> Amen. <clears throat> it's not time to lose your ability. <clears throat> it's not time. I want to say it's not time to quit. It's not time to quit. Somebody on there say, I'm not, I'm not a quitter. I don't have a quitting gene in me. I don't have a quitting spirit in me. I got a rising up spirit. I got an overcoming spirit. I got a spirit in me that causes me and will always cause me to triumph in Christ Jesus. Somebody need to shout hallelujah. It's not time to stop believing. It's time to believe more now than we've ever believed. Amen. It's time. It's time. This is the time that God said, humble yourselves, pray, seek my face, turn from your wicked ways. Then God said, I'm going to hear from heaven and I'm going to heal their land. God is looking for somebody to pray. God is looking for somebody to seek him. God is looking for somebody to humble themselves in the midst of a bad situation. God is looking for somebody to seek His face. Amen. Because God's wanting to heal your land. God's already healed your land. But God's wanting to heal your minds right now. God's wanting to tra transform your mind into greater things. Because it's not over. Somebody shout, it's not over. Amen. This is a good time to give God praise. In the midst of a bad situation, it's time that the church arise and be the church that God intended you to be. Somebody need to shout hallelujah. Man, it's time that we humble ourselves. Listen, God told me to tell you this. It's time that the worshipers arise. Amen. It ain't time for the worshiper to sit down. It's time for the worshipers to rise. It's time for the praisers. Have we got any worshipers out there? Have we got any praisers out there? It's time that the worshipers arise. It's time that the praisers arise. It's time that the prayer warriors arise. It's time that the singers arise. Amen. Somebody need to shout hallelujah. It's time that God's people arise and let it be known. We are not weak, but we're strong. Somebody say, I'm strong tonight. Amen. But why am I strong? Because He's strong. Amen. God has never forsaken His people and He never will. In this time of adversity that we're going through, God is still God and God's got us in the palm of His hands. And my Bible has declared, if I'm in the palm of His hands, no man, no sickness, no disease, no power, amen, no authorities of the enemy, no, no sugar doubt in any Thing. Amen. That's against itself of God. Amen. Shall be able to separate me and you from the love of God. Pastor, why are you so excited? Because if I can be excited in the midst of this, so can you. Well, Pastor, I'm not like you. I don't want you to be like me. I want you to be the man and woman God called you to be. Get excited about because this is a great of a situation. This is a time, amen, that, that, that to let your light shine in the midst. This is the time to stand up and let it be known I'm not going to be defeated. I have no defeat in me. I am an overcomer. Amen. God is my refuge. God is my present help in time of trouble. He's everything that I need. Amen. 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 But it's time for the prayer warriors. It's time for the worshipers. It's time. Amen. It's time for the praisers. Mm -hmm. It's time for the singers yes. <laughs> to arise. Man. Amen. Listen, I love what the prophet said in Isaiah 60, mm -hmm. 1 and 2. 
He said, arise. Now I want you to think about it. He said, arise. God is speaking to the prophet. He said, I want you to arise. Amen. Now ain't a time to sleep. Right now, look, whoever you with, look beside them and say, it ain't time for you to sleep. It's time for you to think on good things. It's time for you to give God praise. Amen. Arise and shine. Amen. God's people ain't got no dimness in them. God's people is the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hid. Somebody say, I'm not going to be hid. I'm not going to hide myself. Amen. I am one of God's children. I am a son of a living God. I am a daughter of a living God. And this, this thing shall not come nigh to my dwelling. Amen. Just go ahead and shout. Shout. Give me some smiley faces. Give me some thumbs. Give me some heart. Let people know, amen, that God loves you. Arise and shine. Watch this. For thy light has come. I want you to listen to this. God spoke this into me when he said thy light has come. That's the light for your opportunity. That's your opportunity. Amen. To give, to speak a word of encouragement. Out of your mouth. It's not time to discourage people. Amen. It's not time to, 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 to get things in a frantic the way it is right now. It's time, amen, that people de- be delivered yes. out of this mess. Somebody say, I'm delivered. Amen. amen, I'm delivered. I'm not going to let this interfere with me. I'm going to still give God praise. Yes. If I got to praise Him by myself, I'm going to give Him praise. Yes. Amen, but I know I'm not by myself. Amen. Listen, arise, shine, for thy light is come. Watch this. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Man, think about that. The glory of the Lord is upon you. Amen. It's risen upon you. The Spirit of the Lord is upon you. That's the glory. The Spirit of the Lord. Amen. When God said the Spirit of the Lord is upon you, He said my glory is upon you. And when He said my glory is upon you, my favor is upon you. Somebody just need to shout hallelujah. If my favor is upon you, then my anointing is upon you. If my anointing is upon you, then my abundance is upon you. Mm. Man, just sit back and just give God praise right now. Then in verse 2, the Bible says, For behold. See, this has already been warned to God's people. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness to people. But the Lord. Oh my, somebody say, but the Lord. <laughs> Shall rise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. People today, in this time, the people, amen, that is in, that's in a frenzied mind, they need to see the glory of the Lord upon God's people. They, 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 listen, they don't need to see the glory of the Lord on the building that they're worshiping in. They need to see the glory of the Lord, amen, in the people that's in the building. Somebody need to shout hallelujah because you are the church. You are the church of a living God. The building we're in is not the church. You're the church. And God said, my glory has risen upon you. And it's time. If you're in the workplace, it's time that God's children, amen, be the example of who God is. It's time that you can turn a negative atmosphere into a positive atmosphere. It's time to change and to alter people's minds. Amen. From a negative standpoint to a positive. Amen. You're, you're, going, you're, you're going from this realm to another realm. God is always a God of increase. He's always a God of elevation. God wants to elevate you. And the first thing God would do, God will elevate your mind. As our mind is elevated, watch this. As our mind is elevated, our character's elevated. When our character's elevated, our attitude's elevated. Oh, yeah. When our attitude is elevated, our thinking is elevated. Yes. My, somebody just yes. need to help me right here. And as I'm, as I'm in the process of being elevated, I become more like Christ. I am the son of a living God. I am what I focus on. God is wanting us to focus on him and become like him in the midst of a situation. 
Amen. And I'm not going to sit here and call this a bad situation because it's only bad as you make it out to be. Amen. Let me say that again. This situation is only bad as you make it out to be. I said this last Sunday and I'm going to say this again. The doors of the building might be closed. But I'm going to tell you what, they can't close the heart. They can't close my heart. Of what? Because God has opened this door that he said that no man can shut. No man has the power to shut what's in my heart. Somebody need to shout hallelujah. So how do I alter my thinking? Let's get into this. We got, we got time. We got plenty of time to get into this. How do I alter my thinking? Amen. First of all, I replace my thoughts. Or let me just talk to you. You replace your thoughts with something new. Somebody shout this with me. God is doing something new. You might be saying, well, how in the world is God doing something new the way things is going on? <laughs> God's still God. He ain't changed. And he's not going to change. He's constantly speaking. The, spe the Spirit speaketh expressly. Amen. So God is still working. Amen. And God is, is taking us to a place Amen. Where, where the thoughts that we've been thinking, amen, can't enter in. Amen. Because God's doing a new thing in the midst of a bad situation or in the midst of a situation. <clears throat> so let me give you scripture for that. Philippians 4 8. I love Paul's preaching. Philippians 4 8 says this. He said, Finally, brethren. Hmm. Finally, brethren. He said, Listen, whatsoever things are true. Whatsoever things are honest. Amen. Whatsoever things are just. Amen. Whatsoever things are pure. Whatsoever things are lovely. Amen. Whatsoever things are of good report. Listen, he said, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. Amen. Think on these things. And understand this. When you replace something. Amen. You substitute it with something new. You, you don't take something old and replace the old. You take the old out. <laughs> this is good right here. You take the old out. And I love this. You replace it something. I love this word. That supersedes. Somebody say supersedes. That word means it has superior being over the old that you've took out. So anyway, anyway, in other words, God said, I want you to replace your old stinking thinking with new thinking. Amen. That supersedes. Amen. The old thinking that has supreme being. Amen. Over the old thoughts. Don't sit around and think on, on what could be or, or what might be or what this thing is doing. Think on the rim. God, what are you going to do in my life uh, in this time? Uh, what you want me to do in this time? Uh, I know you don't want me to sit around uh, and just wait on something to happen. Uh, you want me to be the blessing. Uh, amen. You want me to ble be the blessing that blesses somebody else in the, in the midst of this. Amen. amen. The thing is, when you replace something, amen, the thing that you're replacing now has become, has become ineffective. It's not effective anymore. Amen. The thoughts that you're thinking, that the lingering thoughts, the lingering thoughts. God said, God said, if you, if you put your thoughts, if there be any virtue, if there be any, be any praise, think on these things. Whatsoever things are good. Whatsoever things are of honest report. What, is, what things are true. Yeah. Uh, if there be any virtue, any praise, think of, if I put my mindset right there, yeah. the thing that has become ineffective, amen, will slowly diminish. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, my, my. Oh, yeah. My, my will slowly diminish. Amen. Because now I'm, I'm in a realm that I can, I can think like God. Thank you, Lord. I, I, I have the mind of Christ. You got to say that to yourself. I have the mind of Christ. You got to declare that over your life. I have the mind of Christ. I don't have time and sit around and think on the things that I don't have. Amen. I ain't got time and think on things that maybe this thing is causing me to lose because God's people ain't losers. You're not losing anything. 
Amen. Because God said I own the cattle on a thousand hills. And I heard somebody say he owns the taters up under it too. Amen. My somebody just need to shout hallelujah. I serve a mighty God. Amen. The heaven is not going bankrupt. Heaven is not losing anything. But if God's children will rise and awake from their sleep. Amen. And give God praise. God will reveal himself unto you in a way you never seen him before. To see the power of an almighty God working in your behalf. Amen. Amen. So, uh, so I, I, I replace my thoughts with God's word. And God's word, somebody need to hear this. God's word is his promises concerning you. If nobody else can encourage you, the word of God will encourage you. Because people in this time, instead of encouraging you, they find a way to discourage you. That's why I say what's in your house. What are you listening to? What, what, what report are you listening to? Amen. We, we know that this thing is going on. We know this thing is worldwide. But God, God was here before the virus came. Somebody need to shout hallelujah. God was here before everything came. So God is our superior being. God is our supreme God. He is the one. He is the supreme sacrifice. He's the one that is taking care of me. Amen. So replace your thoughts with God's word. His word is his promises concerning you. If God says you can have it, you can have it. If God says you can do it, you can do it. If God says you can become that, you can become what God says you can become. Amen. Don't let nobody belittle you. <clears throat> Don't let nobody uh, tell you that everything is all right. You've got to know for yourself everything's all right. Amen. You got to declare. Everybody can tell you good things, but until you believe it and begin to receive it, my, my. You got to believe. See, you don't have to see something happen to believe it. You got to believe it, then you see it. My, my. Look at your neighbor and say, I got to believe it before I can see it. My, my. Believe what God is saying, but the more you believe, the more the more God has manifested himself to the believer. Yes, it is. And you're going to see God. Thank you, Lord. In a way. That you've never seen before. So replace your thoughts with something new. Yes. God's doing a new thing. Somebody say, God's doing a new God's thing. Doing a new thing. And God has said this. He said, before I do this, I'm going to tell you about it. Oh, yes, I'm going to tell Come you on, about man. it. I'm going to tell you about the new thing. Somebody, that's why he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Hear what God is doing in the midst of this situation. I got to get, I got to do this because it's getting better and better. And I like to say gooder and gooder. But it's getting better and better. Not only, amen, do I replace my thoughts with something new. Watch this. As my thoughts are replaced with something new, then I shift my emotions. Because emotions is what hurts people. Your emotions is what gets me and you in trouble at times. Our emotions today seems to linger on fear. <laughs> Come on, let's just be truthful. It seems to linger on fear other than the truth of the Word of God. And God has sent me here today to come against the spirit of fear. Yeah. Amen. To rebuke the spirit of fear. Amen. To come into your house. Yeah. To come in on your phone. To come in over this internet. Yeah. Amen. And stand against the power, demonic spirit of fear. Yeah. Amen. God, God said, God said, I perfect love. Oh, let me, I hear the spirit. Perfect love casteth out all fear. And God said this, I didn't give you the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Don't let fear overtake you. You overtake fear. How I overtake fear? I shift my emotions. I shift my emotions from fear to reality. The reality of who God is. The reality of the truth of God's word. See, listen, if you never get in the word of God, you'll never understand and know the truth of God's word. Amen. That's why it's so important. Don't wait on somebody to give you a word. Get the word for yourself. <coughs> they 
David had to encourage himself. David said, bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. When David didn't have nobody to encourage him, he had to encourage himself. He had to tell his soul, so bless the Lord. You got to tell yourself where you at right now. Get hands, look at your hands. Hands, raise them up and give God praise. Feet, give God a dance. Amen. Head, get the knowledge of who God is. Mouth, speak the word of a living God. God's not dead. He's alive. Somebody need to shout hallelujah. God is not dead. He is alive. So I've got to shift my emotions. I got to shift my emotion. Yeah, you're looking at a preacher that slobbers at times. <laughs> Amen. You, you got a preacher that sweats at times. I love, I, I love what God is doing in this time. Yes. Amen. Focus on the good things. Good thing. Replace your thoughts with something new. And as I replace my thoughts with something new, then my emotions begin to shift. Yes. My emotions begin to shift. Amen. Watch this. Matthew 9 and 21 says this. Jesus said, and let, let, I, I just want to stay here for a few minutes if I can. God, Jesus said this. He said, for she said within herself. Oh, my. Watch this. This is good. Oh. For she said within herself, if I may touch his garment. His garment. The hem of his garment. She said, I shall, I will be made whole. Now everybody knows this is the woman that was told for 12 years that she had an issue of blood. And she spent everything that she had on doctors. And, and, and all of a sudden, everything that she had run out. I, I'm going to tell you this. Your material things is going to run out. Amen. But she, she said this in the 12 years. Amen. She said, everything that I give to the doctors, it's run out. Now watch this. She said this. She said, instead of getting better, I got worse. I got worse. Amen. I got worse. I want to tell somebody, she had to transition her way of thinking. Amen. Somebody say, I've got to transition my way of thinking because I've already got a bad report. It's already been told to me I'm not going to get any better. Amen. They didn't left me to die. They done took everything that I had, everything that I worked for. Amen. Instead of getting better, <coughs> excuse me, instead of getting better, I grew and gotten worse. So now I've got to shift my emotions. Mm -hmm. Come on. And in this time, this woman was considered an outcast. Yes. At this time, anybody that touched her was considered unclean. Yes. My, come on, preach with me. Yes. Amen. But you've got to understand, God sent his son Jesus. Oh, my Lord. Amen. To, to cause an interruption uh -oh. in the law. Oh, somebody give, so, so, just somebody raise their hands and give God praise. Because what the law couldn't do, in it, it was weak. God sent his son, which is a new mediator of the new covenant, the new testament. The blood speaks better things. Yes, it does. So she said within herself. Now it wasn't easy for this woman to get to Jesus. Now, come on, I, I, want you, I want you to hear this. It was not easy for her to get to Jesus. She, didn't, she just didn't say that I'm, I'm going to get to him and touch his garment and boom, there it was. Uh -uh. She, had to, she had some work she had to do. She had some changing of emotions. She had to shift some circumstances. She had to replace some thoughts that everybody was telling her. She's an outcast. She's unclean. She was getting trampled on. Amen. She was getting talked about. She was getting pushed away while everybody else was going to Jesus. But I'm going to tell you this. And everybody was thrown in on him. Everybody was touching him. And I come to tell you this right now. The only thing that's going to move Christ is faith. Amen. You can touch Christ all you want to, but if you don't have faith, you're just touching him. My. 
You're just reaching out. God, mm, my, my. This woman had so much adversity against her. Amen. That she had to say within herself, if I can just touch, if I can just get there. Listen to me. If I can just get there. If I can just get where he's at. If I can get where he's at. Amen. I know. I don't have to touch him. I don't have to touch him. I just need to touch what he's connected to. I just need to touch what he's connected to. I just need to touch what's on him. And all of a sudden she went through the crowd. And I'm here to tell you, she didn't walk on her own two feet. She had to press. She would get knocked down. Whatever it may take. You may get knocked down, but get up. You, you may get pushed to the curb, but get up. You, 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 you may be considered an outcast, but get up. You may be considered unworthy, but get up. You may be considered not good enough, but get up. Amen. You, you may be considered, amen, you're not worthy enough. Get up. You may be considered, amen, you're the lowest thing in this earth, but get up. Get up. Don't let people talk you out of your healing. Don't let people talk you out of your destiny. Don't let people talk you out of your purpose. This woman had a destiny. This woman had a purpose. This woman had a, had a place in her that needed, that they had a space in her that was void, that was empty. That need to be filled. And it need to be filled with things other than miss. And she said within herself, if I can just touch, if I can just get to him. It's not going to be easy to get to him. But if I can just get to him, whatever it takes, say this, whatever it takes for me to get to him, God, I'm willing. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. God said, I'm looking for somebody that's willing to touch me. Oh, praise the Lord. Woo! I'm looking for somebody in the midst of a circumstance to reach up, to reach out, and touch Jesus. I'm looking for somebody with a willing heart. See, a willing heart ain't a heart that sits there and not do, uh, not do anything. A willing heart is, is, is saying, I, I'm going to do something. I'm going to do something. Yes, I'm going to get up yes, in the midst of this situation and I'm going to do something about it. Yes, I'm not going to let it come nigh to my dwelling. Amen. Uh, the doorposts of my house, the doorposts of my property, yes. amen, the four corners of my property is staked with the anointing. Yes. It's staked with the blood of Jesus oh. and it will not come nigh yes. to my dwelling. And not only that, I'm going to go a little bit further. It won't come nigh to my seed's dwelling. Yeah, Lord, I thank you. And it will not come nigh to my seed seed dwelling. Amen. I thank you right now. My, my. Somebody need to prophesy that. Thank you right now, Jesus. Amen. I shift my emotions. She said, if I can just touch his garment, I'll be made whole. The shift was this. When she said within herself, if I may touch, that was the shift. That was the shift. If I can touch his garment, I'll be made whole. The shift was if I can touch the manifestation, I'll be made whole. Faith has got to rise in the minds of people. Amen. It ain't time. It ain't time to let your faith be little. It's time that your faith be increased. Even Jesus said, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed. Has anybody ever seen a mustard seed? It's very small. But man, when it is planted, and it produces, the Bible said it's big enough for, for birds to land on the limbs and rest. It's big enough for, for animals to go up under and have shade. Somebody need to shout hallelujah. And God told me to tell you this, little as much when God is in it. You don't need great faith. You just need faith. Yes, sir. <laughs> you just need the measure of faith. Yes. My son, mm, my, my, my. Watch this. The moment one's thinking 
is replaced with something new, then your emotions, watch this, shift into the realm of your thinking. As I think on good things, my emotions become good. Right. I, I will not have fear. I won't let the spirit of fear rise up in me. I won't let the spirit of doubt rise up in me. Amen. I, I, I'm going to have joy. Amen. I, I'm going to look at things. Yeah, I, I, got, I, I, got, I got enough. God is my enough. God, God said, I'm going to supply. I'm the one who supplies your need according to his riches and glory. Amen. My need is my need that God said, I'll supply it. All things. All your need. Amen. Now watch this. My emotions is shift into the realm of the where my thinking is. If my thinking's high, my emotions is high. If I'm sitting around and worrying and, 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 and being defeated by the spirit of worry, amen, then my emotions is I'm worried. Then if I ain't careful, the spirit of fear rises up in me. I'm, I'm, I'm fearful to do anything. Amen. So, so I, I need, somebody need to hear this. Don't be afraid. God, God said, I didn't give you the spirit of fear. He sure did. But of power, power. and of love. love. And of a sound mind. Power to do what, Pastor Mike? Power to overcome. Yes. Power to stand on your own Woo, two feet. Yeah, I'm here to tell you. You may, been, you may have been knocked down. You may have just got knocked down. But get up. Yes. It's not over because you got knocked down. Hallelujah. My, get up and give God praise. Because I promise you, you might get knocked down again. But the more you get knocked down, it ain't how many times you get knocked down. Somebody need to hear it in. It's not how many times you get knocked down and said, are you willing to get up? Amen. Are you willing to get up? Listen to this. My emotions is triggered by what I am thinking or I'm focused on. That's why I said, as a man thinketh in his heart, so we see. My emotions is triggered on what I think on. I, 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 I can lead, listen to this. If I worry too much, my emotions is, is connected with worry. That's right. But if I change my thinking, Come on, preacher. how do I change my thinking? You've got to get in the Word of God. Yes, we do. You've got to get in the Word of God. Yes, we do. <clears throat> the Word of God is able to save your soul. Yes, it is. The Word of God has power in it to change your thinking. Yes. Amen. Listen to this. And I may be getting ahead of myself, but I'm going to catch back up in a minute. The world was framed by the Word of God. Amen. Amen. God had a thought, and guess what? His words, <laughs> oh, I love this. His words flowed in the direction his thought was flowing. So as his words flowed in the direction of his thoughts, his emotion flowed in the same direction. God don't speak, God don't think one way and speak another. Amen. God does not have a forked tongue. Amen. God is clarity. God's word is truth. He yes. is life. Yes. Amen. God spoke it, and there it was. Yes. God spoke in the darkness, and get this, light came forth. Amen. God created the heavens and the earth. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the earth was dark, and the earth was void. Yes. The earth was formless. Mm -hmm. Didn't have no form. Didn't have no shape. Mm -hmm. So God had a thought. God had a thought of something creative. Yes. God said, I'm going to create something beautiful. Yes, he God said, I'm going to create something, amen, that I can take pleasure in. Yes. See, God don't take pleasure in darkness. Amen. God don't have a thought of darkness. Uh -huh. God, is, God is not the author of darkness. Amen. Come on, God is the father of, of the light. Amen. My, somebody need to shout hallelujah. He is the light. Yes. He spoke in the darkness, and light sprang forth. Yes. And when he spoke, amen, to the dust of the ground, mm. man was formed mm -hmm. in his image. Mm. And when he blowed into man, mm. everything that God is and God was became into man. And man stood up and became the manifestation of an invisible, come to visible manifestation of who God is. Yes. 
So my emotions is triggered by what I am thinking or focused on. I become what I'm thinking. Watch this. Right now, tell yourself, I want you to come in agreement with this. Right now, tell yourself, I am blessed. I am blessed. I'm highly favored. I'm highly favored. Let me add another. I'm highly flavored. I'm highly flavored. <clears throat> Amen. I'm empowered. I'm empowered. I'm anointed. I'm anointed. Amen. I'm the head and not the tail. I'm, the head and not the tail. I'm above only. Above only. I am an overcomer. I am a child of God. I am covered. I am free. I am forgiven. Amen. The Bible says set your affections on things above and not on things of this earth. Set your affections on these things that you're just declaring for yourself because this is what God is saying concerning you. This is what God is saying concerning you. Amen. That you're blessed. You're blessed in the midst of this. You're highly favored. Amen. You're empowered. Amen. This shouldn't make you less than what you're what you're going through right now, what we're going through right now. We should be more, we should be greater than what we are right now. We should have more, more faith. We should have more confidence. We, we should have more commitment in what we're doing for God. Yes. Amen. My, my. I'm getting to this, so so replace your thoughts. Somebody say replace. I'm, re, re, I'm replacing my thoughts. I'm shifting my emotions. Now watch this. As this happens, I shape my atmosphere. I shape my atmosphere. I want to say this from my heart. So many people that I've that I've seen, that I've heard, that I've listened to, a man that I've talked with. I can tell that their their atmosphere is shaped in the negativity. And I'm not saying that to downgrade nobody. I, I'm saying that because I want you to know that that don't have to be so. Amen. I, I, God, God's put a voice in this time. God has, Let me say this. God has put voices in this time. And I thank God for, for the time over the air. Amen. That we can touch people that's not here with us, but you're listening in and I can touch you. Amen. I, I can speak to you. I'm speaking into your heart. Listen, I don't want to talk to your big toe. Don't say I'm getting all over your feet. I don't want to be on your feet. I want to get in your heart. I want to speak to the inner man. I, I, I want that inner man. I want to call the greatness out of you. I want to call the king out of you. I want to call the priest out of you. I want to call the anointing out of you. I want to call the great out of you because you are great. Yes, we are. So there's so many people that have shaped their atmosphere in this time. They shaped it in, 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 in I'm just going to say an old ball of yarn. Mm -hmm. If I can say it like that. Or, or an old piece of clay. Mm -hmm. Amen. That has shaped their, their atmosphere into things that is going on and shape their things into things that they don't have. Amen. Give God praise for what you do have. Yes. Amen. Thank God for what you got. Thank you, Amen. Thank God that you got your health, your strength. Yes. Thank God that you in your right mind. Yes. Thank God that you have the ability to stand on your own two praise feet. God. Thank God that you that you have a praise in your mouth. Thank God that you have hands that you can live and thank him for everything. Worship him. They that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. God said, I want to alter your thinking. I want to alter my people's thinking. Amen. Shape your atmosphere. Don't shape your atmosphere in, in, in what's going on in this world. Shape your atmosphere on what God is saying concerning his word. Get in the word. I, I want to encourage, I, I, I'm not, I want to encourage you this. Spend a lot of time in God's Word and, and communion with God's Word yes. and stop listening to the negativity yes. and focus on what God is saying. Amen. Amen. Because this, this too, I won't say this, this too shall pass. Yes. This is another stepping stone unto another higher rim of God's glory. Oh. Amen. So shape your atmosphere. Watch this, 2 Timothy 4 and 2. Paul encouraged Timothy. In a time like this, in, in a time like this where, where Paul told Timothy that there's going to be lovers of themselves more than lovers of God. 
There's going to there's come a time that people's going to fall away from the word of truth. They're going to believe a lie rather than to be damned. And be damned rather than believe the word of truth and be set free. This is a time that the preachers stand. That the apostles stand. That the prophets stand. That the teachers a man and the pastor stand and declare and the evangelist and declare the word of a living God. Yes. Declare, speak to the hearts of the people. Encourage them. Amen. To become better. Encourage them that there is a God that cares. Shape your atmosphere. He told Timothy, he said, Timothy, I want you to preach the word. Yes. Be instant in season. Amen. And out of season. Amen. He said, reprove, rebuke. Exhort with all long suffering. No matter how long it takes. No matter how long this thing is here. Timothy, I want you to be firm. I want you to stand on the promises of God. I want you to stand on something. Amen. That's been tried through the fire. And it didn't burn. I want you to stand. That's something that's been through the flood. And it didn't drown. I want you to stand on something that's been in hell. And hell couldn't hold it. I want you to stand on something that's been in the tomb. And the tomb couldn't hold it. I want you to stand on something that was nailed to the cross of Calvary. And the cross couldn't hold it. I want you to stand firm on the word of God. Yes. Because God said my word was settled long ago. Yes, it was. In heaven. So how do I shape my atmosphere? I shape it with the word of God. I begin to speak a word. I begin to live the word. Watch this. I want to help somebody. The more you speak the word, the more you become the word. My, my, my. Look at your neighbor and say, the more you speak the word, the more you become the word. My, my. The word gives you the power to become sons and daughters of a living God. Watch this. And I'm coming to a close. My atmosphere is shaped by declaring the word of God. That's the only way my atmosphere is shaped. When you walk into a room a man with negativity, you declare a good word. Yes. You declare a good thing. Yes. And I promise you that the power of the word of God will take superior being over negativity. Amen. Yes. My, somebody just need to give God praise. Yes. Watch this. Just as God spoke a word and the world was framed by that word that God spoke. So is true for man. Yes. Your atmosphere is framed by the words that proceed out of your mouth. Out of the words that proceed out of your mouth. Amen. This is this all of this. Amen. The replacement of my thoughts. The shifting of my emotions. Amen. The shaping of my atmosphere all depends on how much of the word of God. It, it, it is declared out of my mouth. It's spoken out of my mouth. Amen. So right now where you at? Amen. Speak a word of life. Speak a word over life of you. I thank God that I had this opportunity to come in and speak a word to you. Take this word. It's rhema. It's a living word of God. It's breathing. Amen. Don't take this word lightly. Don't take God lightly. Listen, folks. This thing right here that's going on, it ain't nothing to play with. It ain't nothing to, to make fun of. It ain't nothing to laugh about. Amen. My joy comes from the Lord. The reason I'm laughing, the reason I'm, I got a smile on my face, the reason I got a praise in my heart is because the joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Declare that the joy of the Lord is your strength. My, my, I got 62 people looking at this thing right at the moment. <laughs> Somebody need to give God praise out there. And I thank God for you. I want to close with this scripture. This scripture has become more powerful to me the more I read it. Psalms 91 and 10. Psalms 91 and 10. And I want to encourage. 
I want to encourage each and every one of you not just to read that one verse of scripture. I want you to read the whole chapter of Psalms 91. Yes, yes. I want you to read that. And if you don't understand it, I want you to read it again. If you don't get understanding it in, read it again. Read it. Ask God to open your understanding. Ask God to enlighten your eyes. Yes. Enlighten your ears. Yes. Hear what God is saying to the church. Psalms 91 and 10. There shall no evil. Now, Sister Linda, this is a promise from God. This is a promise from God. And God, this is his promise concerning us. There shall no evil befall thee. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Does anybody believe that? Yes. Is anybody listening believe that? Yes. Is anybody listening can declare that in their atmosphere? Thank you, Jesus. Amen. That you can lay your head down tonight on your pillow mm -hmm. and say, this thing will not come nigh to me. Thank you, Lord. Amen. The spirit of the Lord. When the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord mm -hmm. lifts a standard. Mm -hmm. He is my standard. Yes, declare Jesus. this right now over you. Mm -hmm. There shall no evil befall me. Neither shall any plague <clears throat> come nigh to my dwelling. I want to thank you for this time. I want to thank you for this opportunity to share a word of God with you. And I want to pray, amen, that God has miraculously, <laughs> has miraculously touched you. Amen. And I want to pray that your mind is transformed. I want to pray that your heart is being, is being shifted. Your whole atmosphere is being shifted. And I want to pray for this. Though somebody out there may be lost and don't know who the Lord is. And, and, and God is saying this. I am the Lord that heals. And I'm the Lord that saves. You might be saying, Pastor... I've done so much in my life. I've done so much in I've done so much wrong in my life that how can a God seize what I've done in my life and the bad that I've done, the bad that I've caused people? How can He save me? How can He forgive me? Because He's God. God said in John three sixteen. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. People may think you just a, just a downright outcast, but God sees a somebody in you. People may look at you as a throwaway, but God sees you as, as gold. God sees you as, as a treasure of his own. God sees you as a, as a precious gem, a precious stone. God sees a great in you when other people don't see anything in you. God sees the great in you when you don't see the great in you. So I want to encourage you right now. And I want to pray for you right now. As, as, as the folks that are here with me, amen, that are praying and coming in agreement, I, I, I just want you to right now, Amen. Stop doing what you're doing. Don't stop listening to this. But I want you to, to if, if anybody's hollering in your house, tell them to be quiet. <laughs> if anybody's disrupting, amen, a uh, what God is speaking in your heart, tell them to, to, to just either get out or stop and listen. So I want to share, I want to tell you this. I want to pray because you haven't done nothing so big that God can't come where you at He's there right now. and bring you forth and set your feet on a solid foundation Jesus. and put a new song in your mouth. Yes. God can do that for you. But what you got to do is believe. Yes. Right. right now while we pray, pray, pray that God comes into your life and take, God's wanting to do a new thing in your life. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, I pray for that one I pray for that many that don't know you as Lord and Savior of their life. I pray right now, Father Lord, 
Lord, that, that as, as this word has went forth, and you promised and you said in your word, it shall not return void, oh but it will accomplish that it was sent out to do. God, right now, that one, that many that may be watching that don't yes. know you as Lord and Savior, Jesus. God, I pray that that heart will open up right now. God, as you're standing at that heart's door and you're knocking, God, that that heart will be open. God, that it be receptive and it will ask you to come in and be Lord of their life. God, you are a God that heals. You are a God that delivers. You are a God that saves. God, I thank you for salvation coming upon their house. God, it reminds me as I pray that when you came to Zacchaeus and you seen him up in a tree, you told him, Zacchaeus, you got to come down. He said, well, today I must abide at your house. And listen, I'm going to tell you this. Not only did Zacchaeus realize that Christ was coming to his house, but salvation was coming upon him. And who was in his house? Salvation. Whoever was in his house, salvation was coming upon whoever was in his house. So God is your salvation. He's come right now to save you, to set you free. Amen. To, he's your hope. He's your future. He's your everything. Right now. Right now as you give your heart to the Lord. Amen. Just confess your mouth with your mouth. Amen. That he is Jesus. And believe in your heart. Believe in your heart that God had raised him from the dead. The Bible says thou shalt be saved. Thou shalt be saved. Confession is made unto salvation. God, right now, touch that one that is praying. Touch that one that is crying. Touch that one that has got a hurtful heart right now. Touch that one that's got a broken heart. Touch that one that's, that's in a bad situation. Touch that one and take everything, God, that's against them. And turn that thing around for the good for them right now. In the name of Jesus. And I give you praise. I give you all the honor. And I give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And everybody see it. Amen. Amen. Give God a great big hand clap where you at right now. And I want to say this. If God has touched you and God has saved you, if you look on Community Full Gospels website, uh, not website, Facebook. Facebook page. You will find that there's an address there that you can write a card. I would like to know. I, I, I would. I would like to know what God has done for you. Amen. That way, this church will constantly keep you in our prayers. Amen. And I, and I want to say this. If, if you don't have a church, right here's one for you. That's right. Amen. Right here's one for you. But the, there's an address on there that you can send what, any prayer requests. Uh, uh, and I'm going to speak to the church family. If you want to pay your tithes and offerings, write the check out to Community Full Gospel Church. It's on there. Amen. It's on there. Amen. Whatever you need, I want you to send us a letter. Amen. Send us a letter letting us know that you've seen this. Let us know that God has saved you, that God is working a great work in your life. And I, and I want to say this in closing. I love you, and I give God praise for you. Until next time, God bless you. Bye-bye. 53.